the defense to the rolling baseball choke, we're going to do the same one that we did on Friday night, uh, baby seal. That can be whether or not they roll off the top or they bait you to pass and they try to keep their elbows together. The important thing is that our chest and body is elevated, our hips and toes are low, your knees should not touch the floor, and remember all posture starts with the head, so you should have a driving forward motion. So from here, this is where we've been working it. Shannon pops up for that knee on belly, right? I blocked his hips or whatever, he starts to tuck that elbow and he starts to roll. So this is a problem. In this position here, I need to chalk his hip and I need to chalk his head. I prefer to use my fist rather than my hands. Uh, if I use my hands, sometimes I feel like they're gonna lock out on my elbows, especially because I'm gonna be driving forward. So one fist and one fist, and from here I'm gonna drive forward, I'm gonna look up, and you see that it starts to apply some pressure on that elbow and starts to drive the hands away from the neck. I'm not telling you that this will save you every time. It will just save you a lot of times. There will be people that will be so strong that you may not be able to extend their hands and the next escape we do will help with that. But if they allow their hands to extend away from their body and they don't let go, then we can always arm bar them. Let's look at that again, just the way that I want you to practice it and then I'll show you the arm bar again, or first. So it pops up, that's a problem, right? It's shocking, hands are all in crazy places that they're not supposed to be. This is a problem. Fist, fist, off of those toes and driving up. You can see that I'm extending my collarbone, almost like that uh, yoga position. Your pelvis should be free floating, your knees should be off the floor, heavy pushing with your toes. One more time, and this time, he's not gonna let go, all right? And if they don't let go, we need to recruit our whole core. Uh-oh. So he rolls off the side, I come up. Fist, I'm driving, he doesn't let go. Knee, over the head, and you can always set up the arm bar. Now, the arm bar is gonna be a little bit of a panic. You might not get the arm bar, right? But when you throw the leg over the head, if they don't let go, you need to recruit your core to get your shoulders away just as much to defend the choke as to get the arm bar pushing with the pelvis. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Sense? All right, let's get it. One, two.